The ninth annual VMA Showcase held at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University attracted students, citizens, and business people, all there for the same reason, to learn more about the manufacturers here in Volusia County. Area manufacturers like Bob Kate, president of Advanced Machining in New Smyrna Beach. Well, we started out in, like I said, 1,200 square feet, and we ended up moving into a 7,000 square foot building, and we got that building totally full. We, we cannot put anything else in there. Kate says he's also renting space to accommodate his needs, and depending on what happens in the economy over the next few years, he may need to expand again. Many people recognize the products at the Edgewell Personal Care booth, but not the name. What began in Ormond Beach as Hawaiian Tropic in 1969 was sold to Playtex in 2007, then Playtex was bought by Energizer that same year. In late 2014, they decided the company was too diverse, so they started working on splitting the company. And then July 1st of this year, Energizer split into Edgewell Personal Care and Energizer Holdings. Edgewell produces 75% of the Hawaiian Tropic and Banana Boat products sold around the world. The company recently started an aerosol line that will also produce about 75% of the worldwide production. That new production line will create about 25 new jobs. Neil says the connections and networking are a huge benefit of being a VMA member, and it's that connection that helped his company get through a potential production crisis. Uh, a classic example was we had an air conditioner unit fail that was critical to our production and we reached out through the VMA and we were actually able to borrow a complete air handling unit, a, a multi, it was probably a hundred thousand dollar unit from another company that prevented us from shutting our plant down. Jane Pfeiffer is the president of VMA and says what's new at this year's expo was an even stronger connection between the manufacturers and education. We will have manufacturers working with the students, for example, during the month we will have some of our young engineers and young manufacturers are going to go into the classrooms and talk about careers in manufacturing, why they're passionate about manufacturing. We have our students going out on bus tours to our manufacturers, for example, the new Smyrna Beach Engineering Academy will tour Boston Whaler. The Mainland Academy of Simulation and Robotics is going to go out to Radon and Bob Space Racers. The VMA Expo included two competitions, student robotics and an art competition. The art competition, uh, while it's, it's not new, uh, we've had it every year. This year is a little more exciting than it has been in the past because we've added a 3D component to it. And it's our high school students that are printing things out of their 3D printers. And this year we have an entry by the Edgewater Public School, which is a K through five, fifth grade level. And they just got their printer. Uh, we actually helped fund it with our Lou Pfeiffer Golf Tournament dollars and it's the most darling little cup that these fourth and fifth graders have designed. The VMA also wants high school students to know they can make a good living in manufacturing. The average annual wage is $52,000 a year, but despite the good pay, the industry has a number of job vacancies. To address this, the showcase featured a job placement center, which listed the more than 300 job openings from entrance level to mechanical engineers. Pfeiffer says there is a pathway for someone to start in manufacturing at above average wages, even if they don't have experience. But manufacturing is moving towards very advanced manufacturing, so people that have mechanical skills and they have good math skills can have a fabulous career in manufacturing, and they can enter the path at any way with zero skills to three months of training, six months of training, two years, four years, and the opportunities are limitless. With more than 450 manufacturers in Volusia County, there's a good chance one of those products has found its way into your life. For The Business Beat, I'm Joanne Magley.